The U.S. and Iran-backed Houthis movement continued to volley strikes on Tuesday with the U.S. taking out four ballistic missiles that were preparing to attack ships in the Red Sea. That's according to the Military Times. The Center of Intelligence Research and Analysis and Training at Mercer University is keeping a close eye on these daily developments. The Center for Intelligence Research and Analysis and Training at Mercier's University is keeping a close eye on the daily developments. Because I was on ground, I did study this, I did live this, I saw it firsthand, right? Right now, uh, for example, people think the Houthis are just attacking as part of a proxy for Iran to commit some piracy to slow down ships in the sea. But I know it's much larger than that. Brian Fuller is the Director of Operations at the Mercerish University program. Fuller is a retired U.S. Army First Sergeant, where he served for 24 years in military intelligence. The intel we're providing here and the decisions we're making here and what we're doing do, don't have lives relying on it. That's the difference. Uh, when I was in the military and we were on ground there, the intelligence operations we were doing, lives were on the line. His operational assignments have taken him to more than two dozen countries, including Iraq, Kuwait, South Korea, and Kosovo. My military hat is telling me that we're getting back to a land grab between Saudi Arabia and Iran uh, when it comes to the Sunni-Shia conflict prior to the Iraq war. Everybody kind of forgets what the Middle East was like prior to the United States getting there and in the Western influence. We're gone now, so now it's come back to okay, the enemy of my enemy was my friend. Well, it's no longer that. The Sunni and Shias no longer are working together to eradicate the United States and the Western influence, get back to the Islamic state of law. Now it's, okay, we're back to Sunni versus Shia. Whoever controls the most land, whoever controls the most resources is going to control the populations. And the first day of U.S.-led strikes Friday hit 28 locations, and struck more than 60 targets with cruise missiles and bombs launched by firefighter jets, warships, and a submarine.